Hi guys, so welcome back. Today we are going to make vegan Alfredo. So I was able to find vegan panini, or actually vegan pasta, and then that's my oil, don't mind it. Alfredo sauce. I'm kind of nervous because every time I've made my own Alfredo sauce, I've made it by hand and I never liked the jar, or made it by scratch, sorry, and I never liked jar Alfredo, so we're going to give it a try, see? says it's vegan there's the heart dairy free and we're gonna have it with broccoli and fried mushrooms so what i'm doing is i'm just gonna boil my pasta of course um fry up my mushrooms saute it with the broccoli season it a little bit and then we'll put the alfredo sauce so i'm gonna get to cooking and then we're gonna try it and pray for me guys i hope it tastes good Hopefully it tastes like Alfredo and I like it because Lord knows I've been dying for Alfredo for a very long time. It was one of my favorites, so let's see how this goes. Fingers crossed. And that's the finished product. Now I tried some of it while it was cooking and it wasn't too bad, but the aftertaste, I didn't like it. So I added some more of this. I had half a jar like up to here. I added the rest of it, so let's see how it tastes with it. Hold on, I need a fork. Only I'm eating it so I can eat out the pot. Um, it's not too bad. It's not the best. I guess I'll try to make my own Alfredo sauce. Not the biggest fan. I don't see me buying it again. I don't know. It, it doesn't taste cheesy and that aftertaste tastes funny for me. So, but other than that, I don't see me buying this again, but I will force myself to eat it. Let's see. Hopefully, hopefully when I try making it myself, it tastes better. It has a sweet aftertaste. It don't taste cheesy at all. It just has a sweet aftertaste. I don't understand why. But I'm not going to buy it again. No. I'll find another one or try to make my own. I won't. I got to finish getting ready for work. So, thank you. Well, on the plus side, even though the aftertaste keeps throwing me off, it's not disgusting. It's not completely gross. It's just doesn't taste like cheese and I don't feel like it should be sweet or tangy. I, I really can't describe what it tastes like. I just know for me, I don't like it. Or I can't say I don't like it. It's just not something I'll buy again. I can't, I don't know. I can't pinpoint on exactly what it tastes like. I also did put a little water in the jar to try to water it down because when I opened the jar and tried it, it just tasted way too strong, way too tangy. And it's, that it has a after a tangy aftertaste. But at least I could, I could tolerate it enough to eat it, or to at least not let it go to waste. So that's always a plus, right? It has a sweet aftertaste. It don't taste cheesy at all. It just has a sweet aftertaste. I don't understand why, but. I'm not going to buy it again. No. I'll find another one or try to make my own. I won't. I got to finish getting ready for work. So thank you for tuning in with me again on The Really Picky Vegan. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, like and subscribe to my channel. And you don't have to be a vegan to follow my channel. You just have to be curious on what us eat. Well, I got to go. Until next time. Bye, guys.